Uh, last year, New York State uh, removed the funding from 39 prevention programs for, uh, for problem gambling. So there are no, there are no state-funded prevention programs in New York State. Uh, as a matter of public policy also, uh, in, in New York State, the total funding for treatment and other educational activities is $2 million. Wow. The budget for the New York State Lottery, the advertising budget for the New York State Lottery is $80 million. Wow. So they spend 40 times more to advertise the lottery than they do to provide services for those who are adversely affected. So as a public policy issue, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we can see that there is absolutely no dedicated funding for those services. So one of the things that we've been working towards is to get that dedicated funding instead of just a line item which is removed at the whim of, of the governor or of the legislature. So uh, Paul, could you comment on what goes on in some of the other states that you're aware of in terms of dedicated funding or in terms of uh, what the percentage of uh, the gambling revenue might be moved towards uh, treatment, prevention, and education. I think you'll hear, see a lot of um, lip service in New York about this when it, when it you know, becomes legal. There may be an extra bump in some cash dedicated towards treatment, but if you don't get the dedicated funding line, you know, the, once, once the new administrations come and go, they'll, they'll change it as they see fit and when they need it. And there's not a good advocacy in place to advocate for that and advocate for that funding. Just to put your $2 million perspective in line, the, the casino in Queens is probably pulling in $2 million a day just on their slot machines on average. So it's, it's one day money at one casino to fund all the treatment uh, in the state. And you know, it's, it's, wow. it, it's, it's You'll, get a, you'll see an increase as they push the casinos because they'll do it to try and keep people happy and buy people off. But it'll be subject to change. And Ohio it'll happen late 3%. at night. In Ohio, it's 3% and it's in the Constitution. 3%? 3%. Have more money than any other state. It's in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get money for your group, <laughs> mold the Constitution amendment. It's coming. <laughs> and it'll be there forever.